Hello and welcome back to Sir Assist YouTube channel. So we've got some more scouting today guys from the games gone by. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up to Sir yet, sign up use the link below. You will get a free limited card. You'll also get to draft your fancy teams as well. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter and check out SirAssist.com. Okay then guys, let's get stuck into today's scouting. Okay, let's get straight into it then guys. The first player I've gone for this week is Lorenzo Insigne. 31 year old is a Toronto now, as we know, and he's got a long contract with them till 2026. He's currently going for around 57 for his limited on auction and around 450 for his rare card. Now, let's have a look at how he's been getting on lately. Now, he had a fantastic result in the last match with a 2 1 win against DC United. Insigne got two assists in this game and an all round score of 90 points in total. He's also had some brilliant scores during his time in the MLS as well so far for just filtered to the MLS scores. We can see he's achieving some brilliant scores there. Now let's have a look at this game in more depth then. This 2-1 win. He get two assists in this game as I say so that got him the decisive score of 70. He also got an all-round score of 20.7. In terms of general scores he got two points and that was for being fouled twice. Did have most de defensive stats that you'd expect from an attacking player. Possession wise was minus 0 0.3 in the end. He actually lost 10 duels, so he got minus 10 for that. He did win 7 duels, however, though, and that made up for a little bit with 7 points there. He also had 37 accurate passes in this game, so 3 point points, 3.7 points achieved for that stat. He had a total of 19 points, though, for his attacking output. With one shot on target, got him 3 points. He also had four one contests as well, which achieved two points. Two big chances created, got him six. He also had two attempted assists, got him four. And eight penalty area entries, got him four as well. Overall score of 90 points, which was absolutely fantastic. And he is certainly capable of getting these assists and goals. A little bit of a quiet spell here in these four games, but he was returning from an injury. Um, as you can see, he has been in and out of the squad. But when he was playing towards the end of last season, we can see he was on fantastic form, banging in the goals and assists. And I expect that to be the general theme this season for Lorenzo Insigne. Next up, we've got one who was mentioned last week, but he's had another fantastic performance against this week. And that is Hector Herrera of Houston Dynamo. Got a contract with them till 2024. He has people who Played, previously played in the La Liga Premiership as well, so he's got some top flight experience where he's playing for Atletico Madrid. We can see that he's got some fantastic scores as well during his time in the MLS. Going for on 24, which was limited at the moment, 210 for his rare. For Phil to this just to his time in the MLS in the last year, we can see that he is really churning out these high scores now, but he is capable of getting the 90s as well and the 80 scores which is what you want really from a Surrey player. And in this game against Austin, Houston Dynamo 1-2-1. He actually got on the score sheet as well in this game. Let's have a look at the stats here. He got a total of 84 points in this match. Six are decisive for his goal and 24.1 all-round score as well. Now defensive, now in terms of his general stats, he got minus 0.5. That was for one foul, but he was also fouled as well in this game. Defence, minus one. That was because of the goal conceded mostly. Possession was not bad. He got 4.6 for his possession. 19 possession lost, which cost him 9.5 points. But he did win possession seven times, so that was 3.5 there. He also won nine duels, which got him 7.2 points. 43 accurate passes in this game, so 4.3 points for that. And 11 accurate final third passes also got him 3.3 points. In terms of attack, he had 20.5 overall. Three shots on target, got him 9 points. Four contests won, got him 2. He also had two attempts to assist, which earned him 4 points. And 11 penalty area entries, which got him 5.5 points. Overall, another good week for Hector Herrera, and is really looking like a hot purchase to have in your teams for this MLS season. Another good player is Christian Pavon for Athletic. Atletico Monero. He's only 27. He was obviously previous in the MLS actually as well. He's now playing in the Brazilian league for Atletico Monero. He's got a contract with them till 2025. More recently, he has started to get into the team a little bit more. As we can see, he is starting to make a few more first team appearances. Although in some instances, he has been a sub 
or even out of the squad previously, but more recently he is getting more first team minutes and he's starting to show the potential that he had when he was playing in the MLS. So if we just filter this to his time when he was in the MLS, we can see he was getting some really good numbers actually when he was playing in the American MLS. But as we know now, he is now playing in the Brazilian league. And as I say, he is getting a few minutes under his belt recently. And he came away with a 78 in the last game in a 1-1 draw against Palmeiras. He scored as well in that match. If we look at the stats here then, he got 18.7 all round. He had three points in his general scoring. So one yellow card got him the minus three, unfortunately. But he did have three points for getting fouled three times. He also had one double-double as well. No stats for defensive. Possession-wise, 6.7. He had lost possession 19 times, minus 1.9. Jules lost 5, minus 5 for that, but he did win 9 jewels, so 9 points there. 39 accurate passes got him 3.9 points as well. In attack, he got 9 points overall, 1 shot on target, got him 3. 3 contests won, 1.5. He also had 1 attempted assist, which got him 2 points, and 5 penalty area entries, got him 2.5. Overall, another good performance, and like I say, if he does start getting these first team minutes again, as we can see here, he is going to start getting these high scores. He is certainly capable. Look at a decent option, around £19 for his limited at the moment. And around 88 on auction for his rare, but you're probably going to have to pick this guy up on the secondary market, which currently is 152 Another good player who, uh, who had another good week on Sir Rare was Hani Mukhtar of Nashville. Long contract with them as well till 2025, and the German player is only 28 years old at the moment. Still very young, especially for the MLS. Got some fantastic averages as well. Playing a hefty price for this guy though, but he's certainly going to give you plenty of bang for your buck. £83 at the moment and 610 for his rare. So if we look at his scores then in the last year, some fantastic scores here. Mostly at the right side of this bar chart, which is what we really want to see from consistent SO5 scorers. In the last game as well, he got a score, he got a goal and an assist. And he had a total of 72 points in this 3-1 win against Columbus Crew. Let's have a look at the points then here for this one. So 2.5 all round, which was probably a little bit disappointing for Mukhtar generally, but he obviously made up with it for it with his goal and assist of 70 decisive score. General score was minus one here, because he did do commit one foul. Defence minus two because he conceded a goal, so that got him the minus two. Possession wise was also minus 8.5, which is looking pretty bad. So 22 possession lost, which cost him minus 11. He also lost 6 jewels, which is 4.8 penalty. Um, but he did make up with it for a little bit with some accurate passes, in final third passes, and some jewels won. But it's attacking points that got him the points on the day. 14 attacking points in total. He had 4 shots on target in this game, which achieved 12 points. So this score could have been potentially better, and he was probably unlucky not to get a second goal. Two contests won, two big chances created, six points. One attempt to assist got him two, and six penalty area entries got him three points. But he also missed two big chances as well, which got him a massive minus ten. But overall, despite some of the negatives there, he's still come away with a fantastic score. And he is still, of course, a fantastic player who's going to be churning you out these sorts of scores. So Mukhtar is a definitely one to consider. And the last player I've gone for this week in the American scouting is Ramiro Macagno of Platense in the Argentinian division. The goalkeeper is on fantastic form recently and he showed that again in his last game for the Argentinian outfit. He's going for around 32 for his limited at the moment, around 430 for his rare card, one that you'll have to buy on the secondary market. But if we have a look at his scores, as you can see, since he has been at Planet Tenzi has been getting plenty of first team minutes. He was previously at Newell's. He did get some game time, but obviously they've got Hoyos there, who's the first choice keeper. And he has now moved to Platense and is a first choice regular for them. And is achieving some absolutely fantastic scores as well. There was a couple of negatives here. So he considered the penalty here and an error that led to goal. But apart from that, he's having some fantastic displays. Including this last game in a 1-0 win against Belgrano. Let's have a look at his score then, which was 77 in total on the night. He had a 17.4 all-round score. So his goalkeeping stats, he got 18 points here. That was acquitted to that was from three saves. 
got six points and also three saves which were inside the box. So all three of his saves were inside the box. So he got six points for that as well. He also got uh, two high, good high claims as well. So three points there. And one sweeper keeper that got him three points. Possession was minus 0.6. Not too bad there for a goalkeeper really. That can obviously give some possession away from the long passes. So yeah, overall a really good score from Mahagner. And I think he's a fantastic option here as well for your server teams. Something worth noting though, he is only on loan from Newell's, but you never know, he might claim the, claim the first team spot at Newell's next season. Probably doubtful though, I must admit. Hoyos is the nailed on number one there, but you never know, he might decide to get a move elsewhere. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of clubs looking for his signature. He's had a fantastic season this, uh, this season so far for Potenza. So that was my... F- so that was my five picks this week. Some of the best scoring players from the game we just gone by in the Champion America region, region, and some fantastic options there. If you like this video, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you're not signed up, sorry yet. Sign up using the link below. You get a free limited card after buying your first five cards on auction. You also get to draft your teams as well, of course. And follow me on Twitter and Facebook and SoroAssist.com. And you can also now join the SoroAssist private chat. There is a link in the description for that if you did wish to do that. And also pick up your free Sura ebook as well. There's also a link in the description to download that today. Okay then, thanks for watching as always. And I'll see you again on the next video.